pleasure to be sitting here with the one and only Carol Cook. Thank Hello, you, Hello, Carol. Thank you. It's always nice to see you. Every year that I come to this event, I can't wait to see what you will do. I can't either. <laughs> <laughs> but it's always fun. Yes. The audience, they're like family to us now. This is our 32nd year. Right. And uh, I don't want to seem age-wise, but I've done 30 of them. <laughs> So, oh. since I was a child I was going to say, absolutely. Yes. And now I'm through menopause a couple of times. <laughs> Wait. You want to explain what you're doing today for the viewing audience? Well, at, at first I thought, oh, it's a, we're doing Stephen Sondheim. So, right off, there's fabulous music. And I get to sing, I'm still here. And I said, you know, people sing it all the time, glorious voices and all that. But you really should have a little, a lot of dirt road under you <laughs> to sing that song. Where does Sondheim sit in your music arsenal of composers? Sondheim is a different breed and breed. A genius, he's a genius. And all of his songs, I don't know, the lyrics are very complex, mm -hmm. and I love that. Oh. Thank you. I love speaking to you. I love seeing you, even though it's once a year, maybe a couple times in between when we're at an opening, but uh, we'll always do. a joy. We can always have a cup of coffee. That's right. You, you, you heard that here first, right? I'm Our calling drink. you. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Carol. Thank you. Good Thank times you. and bum times, I've seen them all, and my dear, I'm still here. How are you, David? I'm good. How are you? I am happier to be here, so. Me too. Yeah, thank you for having us again. So 32 years, this man has directed every one of these benefits for the 32 years. The line for every year. <laughs> and why should this year be any yes, different, really. right? It's Sondheim. I know. Number five. Number five. Carol, My favorite. I love Sondheim. Carol uh, Cook and I were just talking about that and yeah. what she's doing in the show, which is of course so beautiful and appropriate and uh, I can't wait to get to that part of the show. There's lots of other yeah. stops along the way. I'm opening with with a I had a uh, did an art show art gallery opening and they've asked me to do something I was going to do art songs well I listened to them and it's not my cup of tea mm -hmm. so I went to Mr Sondheim I didn't personally go to him but I decided to do something with color and light from uh, and video which I'd never worked with video design mm -hmm. so that you do you know color and light. I red, 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 red. Right. It keeps right. mentioning color. Right. So that they come at you on the screen like this as she sings each lyric. So then I went with that into a hat. And then I found Patricia Morris in a picture of her wearing a hat. So then I took a line from that and said, Does anybody still wear a hat? <laughs> and then she will stand and in the nighttime performance, and she's 101, mm -hmm. and she, voiceover will stay, does anybody still wear a hat? Sweet. And then it goes from that into a, not a collage, but a, a, a run of famous hat f pictures. Oh, nice. Art. Nice, now who's singing the number? Uh, Lisa Froman yes. and uh, Robert Yakko. Robert Yakko. She says, hats off, here they come, those beautiful girls. And she starts, then it comes a parade of famous nude pictures, you know, the naked Maha and so on. They have to pay an extra uh, yes, dollar here <laughs> at this show. Yeah, for nude. <laughs> and that's it. That's the opening. Well, David, we are looking forward to seeing the Me show. Me too. Yes? Yeah. And you've got two performances two, here for the yeah. first time at the beautiful Wallace Annenberg Theater in the heart I'll of say. Beverly Hills. So nice to see it in this kind of a venue, too. It is. It's good. We hadn't had that kind of venue since the Doolittle, which is now the Ricardo mm -hmm. Montalban. Yes, We indeed. haven't had that kind of 
smallish. Right. I, I mean, Makes it much more interesting and much more much personal. And I think with this particular composer, it's definitely the right place. Right. Right? Yeah. Thank you so much for coming Thank to you. visit As us always, here. Thank you, as always. Broadway right. World, we Broadway love Broadway World TV. She really needs no introduction. Loretta Devine, nice Hi. to see you nice again. Nice to see you as well. So here we are yes. in Beverly Hills, Agus. doing a fabulous benefit for the stage benefit. 32 yes. years later, here we are. Yes, yes. absolutely. Now you're dressed that. very beautifully today. Thank Is you. this just for this interview, or you you have? Uh, no, I just wore this today? to come to the theater. I'm doing Send in the Clowns. I'm so ah, excited about that. And nice. we've, we have a new arrangement of it to surprise the audience a little bit. So I think it's going to be very successful. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. So we are, if you are excited doing that, I will tell you that we are even more excited seeing you, you do it thank today. You. So thank you for spending some time with Broadway World TV. Yes, and All good right. to talk to you. Thank you, Loretta. Bye-bye. Bruce Valance, welcome to Broadway World TV. Thank you. And Hello, Broadway to World. 30 Get off on my runway. <laughs> 32nd year of stage. How many of them have wow. you been involved in? What a good question. About 15, I think. Really? I, they used to count them up in the playbook, so I, mm -hmm. I will see what my score is. Oh, okay. I, I don't really, offhand, can't really tell you. What are you doing tonight? That's what the well, next question it's, was. It's, by the time this is seen, it, uh, it will be out. I'm doing, uh, I'm not getting married from, from company, which is like, you know, the express train. Ooh, yeah. And it's also, it's a trio. So if you, if you mess up, you throw the other two of them <laughs> oh off. Oh, my God. So, you know, and I... And we, you know, there's minimal rehearsal time for this, so it's like, it's a real cram session. On that note, we're going to thank, uh, thank you, Bruce, for spending thank time you. with Broadway World TV. Nice, we're in the coolest room at the Annenberg. <laughs> we're happy. It's 109 degrees outside. It is. Mm. And climbing. <laughs> thank you, Bruce. Like everything in Beverly Hills, it's climbing. Clear the hall, I'm not getting married. Thank you all, I'm not getting married. Don't tell the hall, I'm not getting married today. So happy to be sitting here today with someone who I have known for many years, and she is such a stylish, wonderful addition to performers in our business because she is the real deal, Andrea Marcovici. <laughs> Thank you. I like the real deal. <laughs> you are welcome. It's so nice to see you. It's so nice to see you. You too. don't age a minute. You just look gorgeous. Wow. Look at you in this beautiful There's dress. There's that portrait in the attic that's yeah. just getting so decrepit. <laughs> Yeah. Horrible portrait. I don't buy that I don't that even go all. up to visit it anymore. No? No. I don't buy that. <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to. So, here you are at the uh, at the stage benefit. Mm -hmm. Not your first time, of course. No, but I haven't done it for many, many right. years. Right. It just haven't. It just hasn't worked out that I had the time at the time that they were doing right. it. Right. And this is a woman who, through her performances, really, really, truly knows how to tell a story. So you have got the right composer to be coming back yes. to the stage with and doing. Yes. What are you doing, with Stephen? I'm work? singing uh, with so little to be sure of. And I'm proud to say that they will show images of some of the people that we have lost this past mm -hmm. year. So I'm part of the In Memoriam segment. Mm -hmm. And um, There's not going to be a dry eye in no, the house No, my on eyes that. are actually watering when I think yes. of it because right. I'll have to maintain my composure. And wow, that's, uh, that's a beautiful moment. Mm -hmm. You know, David is so great about creating those kinds of special, special moments during a, uh, a show like this. Mm -hmm. It's always a pleasure because you never know what you're going to see. Nothing is ever the same. Oh, there's such fantastic songs tonight. Yeah. I'm just, I mean, it's on time. What are you going to I know, right? <laughs> you're dealing with the best. I ask someone. And such talent. I, oh, my. Yesterday in rehearsal, I just couldn't believe it. So nice to speak to you. Thank you for stopping by Broadway World TV today. And I know you've got some work to do, so we're going to go let you do it. I do. I have what I call the pleasure of pleasures. There you go. Hardly work. Thank you, Andrea. Nice to see you. One of the great ladies of the theater, Mary Jo Catlin, is sitting here. How are you, what Mary Jo? What a wonderful jo? thing to hear, and you're just, <laughs> you're just so wrong, but it's lovely oh. to hear it. <laughs> 
I, 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 I'm one of her biggest fans, uh, and uh, we've known each other for a few years. A few years, Michael. Yeah. It sure has been. And yeah. you're so beautiful. You're, you're looking younger than ever. Aren't you so nice to uh, say No, I'm not, that. I'm not saying that because it's not true. <laughs> I'm it's, sitting here right here. She looks gorgeous. I just came from wonderful hair and makeup people. There I wish can. I could hire them and have them at my house all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> So here we are at here the Wallace Annenberg Theater. Beautiful yes, the most Beverly beautiful Hills. Beautiful venue. Right. Oh, it's gorgeous. And the beauty about it, as I said earlier with David Galligan, is that it is an intimate venue in the sense that it is not 17 or 1800 seats, probably about six or 700 seats, wouldn't you say? Yes. Yeah. Yes, which, so, which makes not a bad seat in the house. Right. And also know? not a bad uh, idea to do it here because of Mr. Sondheim. And that's so personal, his Isn't lyrics. It? Oh, his, perfect, right? just perfect. Speaking of him, and yeah. you, and this benefit, what are you singing tonight? Broadway, baby. Ah, uh, <laughs> perfect. perfect. I think it'll you. be fun. Yeah. Um, if I remember all the words. Yes, you'll get through it. If you, you don't, you'll make some up of oh. your own, right? Ooh, not. No? No. no. Don't tell Stephen. <laughs> well, I, I wouldn't. <laughs> but it's, it's kind of hard because um, Oh, hello. Wow. That's a Ladies come in. and gentlemen, today's <laughs> performance will begin in five minutes oh. in the Brian Goldsmith Theater. There you go. Well, thank you for supporting this event and being here and spending some time with us. Thank World you. It TV. was very nice to be here. The 32nd Annual Stage Gala, celebrating its fifth edition of the music of Stephen Sondheim and Benefit for AIDS Project Los Angeles, was presented June 18th at the beautiful Wallace Annenberg Performing Arts Center in Beverly Hills. Directed by David Galligan, with musical direction by Michael Orland and choreography by Lee Martino, additional performers included Cortez Alexander, Andrew Blake Ames, Julie Garnier, Alvin Ng, Jean Louisa Kelly, Becky Bailing Lithgow, John Mayer, James Mulligan, Mary Jo Mundy, Jeffrey Scott Parsons, Madison Claire Parks, Yvette Tucker Spencer, and Amber Stevens West, among others. Established in 1984, Stage is the longest running annual HIV AIDS fundraiser in the world. To date, Stage has raised more than $5 million for HIV AIDS organizations in the Southland. To learn more about AIDS Project Los Angeles, please visit APLA.org.